Well, it's finally happened. After persisting for so long, we finally got a sponsor. It's here. It's now. It's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Your favourite show of the week is another all or nothing as we welcome Northampton Silby Rangers, who will be making the hour and 20 minute journey down the M1 and then the A507 to Pixmore Playing Fields, where it's Letchworth Garden City Eagles v Northampton Silby Rangers in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. Okay, it's not really a sponsor. I just had to say that. So all them sponsors to sign up to me. Why are you not jumping on this bandwagon right now? I have to say a massive thank you to everything Spartan South Midlands on Twitter who supports me so much by liking the videos and retweeting them. Keep up the good work. I appreciate everything you do. If you ain't already following him, make sure you do. Just a shame that you support a shit football team. But anyway, that's another chain. Bollocks. Let's get to football. No! <laughs> So Northampton Silby Rangers finished sixth last season on 73 points. They currently sit fourth after 10 games on 24 points. Well, they've won eight, drawn none, and lost two. Now, I don't know the exact date when they took over. Aaron Clipston and Stuart Smeavers are joint managers, and I've just rounded it up at the beginning of last season to where they are now, where they've taken 61 games, winning 36, drawing 8, and losing 17, giving them a win percentage of 60%. This is our Northampton Silby Rangers Danger Men stats look. I don't care about the mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 14th of the 8th, 2021. Letchworth Garden City Eagles 4. Northampton Silby Rangers 0. River with an at-trick and Lucas with the other goal. Giving Letchworth all three points. So some senile old fart, myself, forgot to do the end part of my beginning part, if that makes any sense. And instead of waiting till tomorrow, then upload the video. That's why you're getting it now. You ain't going to see my face. I'm basically naked right now. Yeah, you know you want to see that. <laughs> You're hard, showing off. We worked hard on Saturday, and then see what comes on after that. Use all the running that we did into this game today, because it's the test. The test is you're playing against a team that's only lost twice this season, and they're going to be looking for a scout today. It's up to you whether you give it to them or not. That's the bottom line. You've got enough quality in this change room to beat this team. If your mind's right, if you go into the warm-up correctly, and if you start sharply. We've got five subs, as you all know. I'll use them at any point. So you guys on the pitch, stay on the pitch. Ultimately, I said I'm going to do rotation, but if you're playing shit, you ain't getting rotated, I'm sorry. Does everybody understand that? <laughs> Transition is simple. You will know what I want. Now it's time to give what you got. It's all about ambition. Ambition to be fight with the big boys. Ambition to run hard. Ambition to win your tackles. Ambition to quality passes. Ambition to put the ball in the back end there. These are all the things that we're going to need today. And you guys got the opportunity to do it. I'm say this again. There's no embarrassment being taken off the pitch for working hard. It's a squad game. Since Chase and Alton have been here and I've been here, we've used everybody in change room and we've come out with results. So don't be selfish on the pitch. Burst yourself out as much as possible. We'll be fresh next one to finish the game off. Feel you're lucky to be playing today because Nick and I ain't it. I take full advantage of it. You're not playing because you come late at training. Carlos, you're lucky to be playing because Oli was late. We're starting now with discipline. We're out of the team. We're calling training, be training. If I tell you to be here at 12 o'clock on Saturday, be here before 12 o'clock on Saturday. Don't give me excuses to leave you out of the team. The rest is on you. Now I want fast start with your chances. Try and make your ball <coughs> reach its destination. Don't overcomplicate. Playing white right at the back, I ain't got a problem with that. You've got full range to play football, but we're going to play 
get the ball without smashing. This is where we set. You guys see the game as a film, I see it in pictures. If I see too many bad pictures, I'm going to make a change. So I don't see any bad habits, try and keep the good stuff. Passing and moving, a lot of support today is what we've done in training. Try and implement some of that today. It'll be a tough game, but you guys more than equipped to get a result today. Darryl Reed, goalkeeper. Vlad has just gone forward. Dempsey Thomas, defender. Amidou Sani, defender. Theo Knox, defender. Sam James. Danny Charles, midfield. Carl Osborne, midfielder. Harry Golden, midfielder. Mark Summers, striker. Tony Coughlin, midfielder. Richard Marcus, defender. Holly Chart, midfielder. Ryder, centre forward. <laughs> Mike Smith, midfielder. Come on then, let's get this game underway so I can get myself home and get into a bath with my rubber duck and me nice bubbles. We've managed to break down a counter attack. As H will play that into Danny, who will square that into Summers, back to H. Over the top to Sonny. He sees the keeper off his line. He fancies a chip. I fancy a bag of chips. Salt and vinegar, please. Keeper will collect, but what total football that was. Silby Rangers on a counter attack here. Dempsey, no, you're supposed to fall into their box, not ours, to get a penalty. No, don't you do the same thing, Slabhead. What is this? Well, anything you can do, I can do better. Silby Rangers look to recycle this ball as number two looks to loft it in as we give him no pressure. He's got all the time in the world. All the way to the back post. He's done the pose as well. Sloppy pass in. We've managed to clear it. Have we evaded the danger where that was a chance for Silby Rangers? First set piece of the match, it's no surprise we've gave it away. If Darryl will punch this. Four will try to knock it back in. Silby Rangers are not giving this up. Looking to drive and that will be a corner. Corner to whip in. Summers has cleared. Darryl did come for that. I don't know if there's any talking. Ball's backed in and that's away by Danny for another corner. Corner whipped in. Away by Slabhead. The menace will hook this. The remaining Usain Bolt will gather this up. He's got Slabbard in front of him. He plays it to the Kiwi International who's got a player up his arse. He plays that into Danny. Danny will knock that wide out to Sammy. Sammy's got acres of space to drive. H in front of him. Plays the ball, but it's intercepted. Number 9 has two players around him. Number 10's played a cheeky little run. He's dinked it through two of our players. Slabbard in the remaining Usain Bolt. What are you doing? Ball's played out to Slabbard. He does not clear very well into the path of number 2. We will look to square this over. To number three, who fancies this from 20 yards at? And it's why Darrow had it covered all day long. Silby Rangers driving forward as number six tries to play a ball through. Dempsey's gone to ground. Is that a tackle or is that a foul? Referee's playing on. We're just standing still. Number seven, three players around him. It doesn't matter if it was a penalty or not, as he's put it in the back of the net, and Silby Rangers have taken the lead. And born a build up, maybe. A doy to lift this long to get us out of her own half and attack them for once, but it's collected nice and simply. No pressure on either of these two players. He's got all the time in the world to pick out a pass as we just stand off him. The menace tries to close in Dan. That's one straight ball, which is about 20, 25 yards straight through. Another ball played in. Slab it. It's rolled under his feet. Number seven's through. Daryl. Nice big save by Daryl. At the moment, we cannot get hold of this game as they look to recycle the ball back in. Silby Rangers. No pressure at all. They've got all the time in the world. Ball's played in. And Daryl will get the second one on that. Danny to take this free kick for us. The shot on target. The keeper's fumbled. The menace. Can he make it? Just cleared in time. Best chance we've had in half hour. Here we go then. Come on, gents. Let's switch it back on there. Throw him right by the corner flag. As the Uranian Usain Bolt will play it into the menace. Plays it back into him, but he's played it just behind him. And now Silby Rangers will look to counter-attack. As the diagonal ball's played all the way over to the top. It's beat the Kiwi International. Sammy James will play this back to Daryl. Daryl looking to lift this long. But it's been cut out. He skipped past Sammy James. And the counter attack is on once again. And the pressure at all, gents. The desire to win that ball. Slab it to clear. Away from the non league pack to Vieira. Play back into number two. Who will look to play this ball in. Barry Minus has come from our throwing right by their corner flag. His number seven will get a shot. It's taking deflection. Daryl will claim this ball. Hopefully we can weather this pressure and get going. Danny to play this free kick into the non-league patch of Vieira, but the defender's just beating him to it. Into the path of number six. Second bite of the cherry to Danny, who will play this into H, who's now got two players around him. He's got no options. He doesn't know where he can go. 
He has played the ball in to the menace. That's a fucking lovely little cheeky ball. The menace has played it square. We're too slow to counter on that. And on that note, it is half time where we trail 1-0. Well, it's been shit. Not good enough. This team don't work to me. And you choke when it comes to big teams. First five, ten minutes, defence, you want to give them a goal. We ain't really creating much out wide. They're playing 4-3-3. Three, three. You're allowing them to match up 3-3 three, three, three against our defenders. Which means our defenders, you're not either calling them back or they're being fucking lazy. One of the two. Middle of the park, goals come from you. Both huge can't pass to each other. Up front, bit half and puff. Bollocks. It is bollocks. Bollocks! Bollocks! Both wing backs should be off. Shane Mark can only make five substitutions. You've got five minutes on tea time. We're not taking you off. You come in here, have a shower and go home. Leave your kit here and don't come back. This is a team. If you're going to lose this game, you're going to lose it as a fucking team. You're going to man up. You're going to take sitting on the bench and then training. You're going to show me what the fuck you got because you ain't got fuck all that. Yeah, you can run around all day. What's the, where's the fucking quality? All the quality we've got in this room, apart from you, have played really well. Where's the rest of us? Playing against a big team and fucking sink. People want to talk after 45 minutes of us giving the ball away. Oh, we ain't keeping the ball. Fuck some of you got too fucking comfortable. You think you're better than what you are. Go back to fucking basics. Get more fucking pass it to your old man. As the ball goes up front, I'll be full of fucking jogging. There's a big massive gap. We've got a number 10 in it, and there's still a big massive gap between midfield and forwards. How is that possible? Because you're lazy. Did I run you to on Saturday? If that's the case, I'll use other people who've got fresh legs. Just fucking be honest. That's what I'm asking for. You've got quality, and where is it? Where is it? Silby Range looking to get the second half underway as the referee's doing his best. Hello, Sailor. Impression with that ill sticking up. And off we go. So let's hope the lads are taking on ball miles, words of wisdom as H will play this ball over to the remaining Usain Bolt. Who looks to play this back to Slabhead. Slabhead looking for his options. He plays it into a doy. He's had a little bit of pressure. Oh, but that horrible touch is allowed. Two players in and the counter attack is on. With number 11 bursting into the box. He's cut it back to number 9. He's taking the deflection. And we will clear. Just that simple. We're under pressure. Number 3 looking to play this ball into the box. It's away by Slabhead. Not too far by number 10. And that's a lovely little dinky chip. He's completing utterly lobbed Daryl. In despair, New Alexander Clev will whip this ball in. It's deflected. Dempsey, saving the keeper. Short of sight. He's first touch. There's been a couple of subs. We've made an impact. We are going to win the World Cup. We're going to win this. I can't remember what the score is, but we're going to win it. The menace has two round him as he licks the ball into the box. Shoot on sight. And it's good to see that shoot on sight is back to his best. An opportunity wasted. And would you look at that? Six of our players are around number seven. He still manages to get a shot off and scored it. Brilliant. Yeah, don't worry about me, lads. I'll just sit in my bedroom in my pants mugging myself. I found this an opportunity and it's gone wasted yet again. Shoot on sight and the Kiwi International. Both of them could have had tank on that, but looks like Dempsey's had a smack in the face. H has somehow managed to squeeze the ball through the gorgeous George. He's had a little turn. He's had a shot, two deflections. That'll be a corner. Since the changes have been made with the subs, we've shown a bit more bollocks and fight this half. Another corner. Played into a very dangerous area. Shoot on sight. Keepers beat him to it. He's punched it. For a big bloke, you've got to throw yourself onto that, mate. You are a tart. Number eight, looking where his options are. Nothing in front, so he'll have to play it back. Shoot and sight, looking to intercept. As he does, he's nicked this into the menace. Three players around him. He squared it. Gorgeous George takes the touch. A shot. Ah, oh, the keeper. He had more time than he knew about. Definitely could have got back into this game in this second half. Number three with a long ball clearance. A doyer to play it back over into the path of the most handsome man in football with two players around him and he's just gone see you later lovely little football lovely technique that's why this man is a dream the apple of my eye as he plays into H and that'll go for a corner at least we're attacking and with that the referee calls full time Electric Garden City Eagles 1 Northampton Sylvie Rangers 3 first half performance was shit and it's not acceptable <laughs> under any circumstances. You set your own standards and you've done that for the last three or four weeks and you fall so far below it, it was criminal. It was kind of embarrassed from back to front of the door. Not fucking good enough for me. Some of your experience, middle of the park, absolute shit first off. Didn't really get nothing, bit huff and puff, put it in a little bit, but the quality that you're supposed to have was gone completely. Two wing backs gave me nothing first half, and shit what you say. Up front, huff and puff, that's our 11. It was carrying six today, six or seven or eight. Not capable of winning any game of football. So on Saturday, I need to see four this is the group that I want end of the season. Things that have to change. Our performances have to change. Not the end of the world, it's one game. But if we lose on Saturday, it's going to be a massive problem for every single person in this change room, believe me. Because ultimately, I've got to speak to the chairman. 
What am I going to say to Trevor after that first our performance? You tell me, what am I going to say? What would any of you say if he's calling you? Oh, yeah, yeah, after the first half performance. It's not good enough. Remember why the fuck we're here? You're playing semi professional football, Jets. Dempsey, unfortunately, a 3 1 loss tonight. Where'd it go wrong? I just got on it today. Weather wasn't really playing its part. We mustn't forget that it's been raining quite It's been raining? Yeah. Are you being serious? God, it's raining for both teams. And we just went up for it first half. And it was a bit too late when it got to the second half. 2 0 down. We did well to get a goal back. And we, I reckon we could have got more, but they were just up for it more, winning the first balls, secondary balls, and it just wasn't our night tonight. So the game finished Letchworth Garland City Eagles 1, Northampton Silby Rangers 3. Not good enough from us from start to finish. Silby Rangers, by far the better team on the night, deserved the win. We all need to take a massive look at ourselves and have a reality check and see where we're going wrong. Can't dwell on it for too long. Just got to put it behind you and just try and put things right in the next game. Until next time, you know what to do. Sing him out, Richard.